uh, hello everybody welcome to the second lesson of the java programming language in this lesson we'll be you know knowing about the first step towards java programming uh, we'll all we'll be discussing what is the required steps if you have to write a java program and in this lesson as part of the content we'll be discussing uh, something about api documents these are the application programming interface documents what is the importance of this document how they plays a major role to understand the program in a better way and then we'll be starting with a, a java program simple java program to understand what is the structure of the java program this is one of the important uh, topics because only if you understand this we'll be understanding how we are writing the java programs further then we'll be discussing about the importing classes uh, importing classes are those uh, a uh, few are inbuilt and few that have to be included by us these classes uh, will make us understand why that class is required to that particular program or from where you can take that class and all after that uh, we'll be discussing the formatting the output that is how do we get the output uh, when we write a java program and then we'll uh, you know wind up with a simple summary of what all we'll be learning now uh, all right uh, api documents these application um, programming interface documents are generated from the java program itself and uh, all the features are available in the description that means if i'm writing a api document whatever uh, you know package i'm including or whatever method i'm including that description will be given uh, for everything in an api document and we need a special compiler called java doc uh, to create an api document until and unless we have this compiler we cannot create an api document so this compiler is very important for us to understand why do we need that um, document or you know how can we create that document uh, let us simply compare java program and an api document for a better understanding in this uh, this is called as a comment section i'll be telling you why do we write this but there is no you know uh, direct connection for the program in this comment line program uh, or during the execution it you know uh, does not consider this line these are you know used for for our understandings and then here i'm writing a package and a package name there uh, i'm not describing here what is that package and what why are we writing that package name whereas in part of the api documents descriptions are available for everything here for the next section i'm giving a class and a class name this class and class uh, name is mandatory for every java program until and unless you have at least one class you cannot write a java program and that cannot be executed and we don't give the description of the class name for example if i'm adding few numbers i give the class name as sum but description cannot be given in the java program but whereas that can be done in the api document uh, if i'm giving a method which is otherwise called as a function in c language or c++ but throughout the java program a method is called a function we uh, call a function as a method so remember like whenever we call a method that means it's a function and it has got something to uh, perform some action this method description as well is given in the api document and uh, what the uh, what that method have to do and when we call that method and the that description is also given part of the api documents this gives us the clear understanding that api document is used for giving descriptions about each and everything that we write in the java program whereas in program we don't give the description but we simply give the uh, class name package name and continuously write the program uh, if i have to tell this will be the basic structure of the program we'll understand it better uh, in the next slides uh, yeah as part of the comment line i said you this is used as a comment line to give the simple uh, statements that for our understanding here uh, we have three type of comment lines single comment uh, line and uh, multi line comments and uh, java document comments in a single line comment that have to start with a symbol of two slash uh, two uh, slash symbols then in this uh, once you write this two slash symbols and write any any text uh, in one single line that will not be considered for execution part but that will be given for our understanding purpose if you have to write uh, if you have to write multi lines then that will be uh, starting with a 
slash and then as symbol and then end with a slash and as symbol in this uh, multi line comments you can include more than two lines uh, here i wrote uh, you know this is used for displaying the message uh, or details like uh, details of the customer like they can have name or salary you know or mobile number etc uh, and they need uh, you know more than one line so multi line comments are very preferable for them uh, java document comments uh, these comments are specially used for describing about class so these comments are considered for you know when you have to describe about your class you will you will be using java document comments coming for this uh, starting a java program this is the simple java program uh, here i use a multi line comment to write that this is my first java program to print text on monitor or i can tell to print uh, you know some output and then these are the uh, import classes and the packages that i've given uh, import java dot language and system uh, this is language and system this includes the output um, what do we say uh, keyboard that we have to that you have to give you take input from the keyboard and uh, so many things language string includes you can write any number of strings when uh, you use this function this makes us give uh, more than two or three or four statements but all this can be combined and written into a single statement by using star symbol uh, if this star symbol includes all the system uh, package string package and all the other packages that language contains and this is the class name first i gave the class name as first because this is my first program and public static void main uh, this is the starting main part where the program execution starts and this i'm giving an argument as a string array uh, this uh, helps us understand like uh, you know anything of string kind of things you can include in your program and this is the output statement system dot out dot print uh, we're giving a print or the output of welcome to the java we'll see this output in the next slides or next you know when we discuss further importing class importing class can be done in two ways in java using a class by creating an object in them or using a method whenever we import a class we have to understand why that class is used for that particular program in java methods are available in both classes and interface and both these have to contain methods uh, it have to contain methods and then a package is a kind of directory that contains you know group of related classes and interface all these points when i explain in a simple way a java library which contains packages and that contains classes and interfaces which have to contain methods at any cost all right uh, as i said you this both uh, statements or this both import uh, packages can be written into a single package by using a star symbol and uh, to you know make us uh, you know simple uh, to write any kind of java programs and class for every java program is mandatory you can include any type of any number of statements in this you can add methods or you can add anything that you want to execute within these statements and methods are called using two steps uh, you can e uh, first call by creating an object i'm creating a new object for this class i'm giving a class name i'm giving an object name for example i take object name as obj and asking to create a new object for this class this is how an object is created uh, when you have to create a method and then the second uh, step then uh, the method should have using object name dot method name like here as part of the class name i'm giving first as my class and then giving an object uh, asking to create a new object for my first class here that can be used uh, in like this way when you write in a program this will help us to create new object for our class all right uh, as part of the main method public static void main uh, is the place where the execution of our program starts all right until now uh, whatever we have discussed i have put it into a state uh, simple program all this is the uh, comment section i'm using star uh, as slash sorry slash and star and then ending with with a slash and star this is a package import uh, java dot language dot star 
and this is the class name using public static void main and asking to write any number of statements here and these statement will be executed by JVM uh, as we have discussed in the lesson one yes uh, th so when we write uh, a program in Java system is the class name and the out is the static variable for here I write system dot out dot print this is the class name and this is the out that means a static variable throughout the Java will be only talking about static variables and in this complete program as we saw this program in the first uh, uh, you know first simple pro uh, program section we ask for a welcome to Java as an output and here it is how we get the output these two are how we are saving the uh, your program and how you are asking uh, for an execution this I'll be telling here for the first thing we'll be writing our program in any text editor like notepad or word document you want and then name that with the class name dot uh, java when you save it with the class name and dot java this will help us to execute our program once you execute your program you'll get an output as part of the, this program I use class as sum for adding two numbers two numbers I gave uh, integer x and y these are used these are called as variables which are used for storing any kind of values for now I'm giving x value as 10 and y value as 25 giving a statement for calculating the sum then displaying the uh, sum as an output this is how you get this sum as an output can be displayed uh, in any number of uh, ways here directly we gave in the first uh, I mean in the previous program as Z or else you can give the sum uh, or some of the two numbers as 25, uh, 35 we, you can uh, give the value of Z here uh, or you can uh, simply uh, you know give plus Z uh, symbol so that you can give the output uh, here without you know worrying about what are the calculations because we already gave calculation to be done in the previous step where z is equal to x plus y x plus y and then after that uh, when you give this uh, output you can directly ask for calculation to be done in the printf statement but you have to include and uh, you have to give them th within the braces because only when you give within the braces the execution part can be done and the calculation can be done uh, if I have to specify the tell and then you can uh, give with an equal to symbol or any way but you get the output as 35 because our input values are 10 and 25 you can even change the numbers uh, you know if you require all right backslash symbols this is one of the important topics whenever i use slash n it uh, means that i ask for going for the next line and when it is for slash t it is or uh, one tap space for slash r it is enter key all this will be using in the program for making our program you know easily understood by the person who is looking at our program all right each and every backslash code uh, plays a very important role and all the meanings are given here which you can understand when you use them complete uh, at the end formatting the output when I say for the formatting the output here I can give output in any case as I gave uh, integer values like uh, a as one b as 2 c as 3 and 4 we are asking for printing a b c or d values here i use slash t that means after giving an output you will be getting a space in the output and ask for printing b 1 and then b giving uh, asking to print b and then giving slash n that means to print in the next line so c will be printed and d will be printed in the next line this is how uh, you'll be using all this slash in slash codes and then you'll be getting the output at the end uh, as per your requirement when I have to conclude uh, we have learned about providing comments like single line comment multi line comment and uh, Java document comments which are used for uh, you know for our better understanding purpose we have also learned API documents which are majorly used for describing about package or class or any method that you use in your program and we have also come across uh, how do we create a program and then what is the basic structure of the program and uh, when you understand this what is the import classes or what are the packages that you have to use where we, uh, we use language as a package for now 
and then we have come across um, how do we get the output what are the different uh, you know stages or different ways how can you uh, give the output even by calculating